Hey everybody, how is it going? Happy Sunday to you. I just had an most incredible day. Uh, praise God. I was able to go to church with my family today and we actually tried a little something newer and I, we are just in absolute love. Uh, the church that we went to, um, it's called the Riverside and it was, uh, it was amazing. Actually, my daughter and my son and my wife, we were all there praising God, singing and listening to the message and, and, and how I know God was working with us is that my daughter and my son were both calm, quiet, collected the whole time. They listened. They weren't asking questions. Can I go to the bathroom? Can we get a donut? Can we get this? They, they were there. They worshiped with us. They saw dad and mom singing. It's just, it's a total blessing to have, um, to have God on our side and to, and to know that his message is being heard amongst his people and we're, we're implementing it, right? We want to keep Keep doing what you're doing. If you're finding success in what you're doing, in going to church and praying and meditating on God and having that contact with Him, don't stop. Keep going. I want to read something. August 29th. I almost forgot to read these. I want to try and read them every day for you guys that like these. Okay, so here's the here's the 24-hour day thought for today. We cannot get along without prayer and meditation. On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day, but before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking. Our thought lives will be placed on a much higher plane when we start the day with prayer and meditation. We conclude this period of meditation with a prayer that we will be shown through the day that what our next step will be. Amen. Mm. The basis of all our prayer is, Thy will be done in me through today. Am I sincere in my desire to have, to do God's will today? And I know that it's the end of the day, but this is the sort of stuff that we want to be thinking about in the morning and, and when we're starting our day is, am I sincere in my desire to do God's will today? Now, today was amazing. And I'm sorry that I'm getting to these a little bit later, but I want to make sure I get them in. So here's the meditation for today, August 29th. Breathe in the inspiration of goodness and truth. It is in the spirit of honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love. It is readily available if we are willing to accept it wholeheartedly. God has given us two things, the spirit, the power of choice to accept or not, as we will. We, we have the gift of free will. When we choose the path of selfishness and greed and pride, we are refusing to accept God's spirit. And when we choose the path of love and service, we accept God's spirit and it flows into us and makes us all makes all things anew. Amen. Prayer for today. I pray that I may choose the right way. I pray that I may try to follow it to the end. And amen. When we wake up in the day, in the morning, uh, when I usually read these, I ask God, what can I do for you today? And I simply follow his will. And if I'm not doing something that I should be doing, then he will correct me. And I will know straight away, clear, what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. If I make a mistake, I learn the lesson from it and we move on. So, ah, that's what I get out of that one. So... Here's the just for today, August 29th. Don't look back, you guys. The step offers a big chance from a life dominated by guilt and remorse. Our futures are changed because we don't have to avoid those who we have harmed. As a result, we receive a new freedom that can end isolation. Many of us come to Narcotics Anonymous full of regret about our past. Our steps help us begin to resolve those regrets. We examine our lives, admit our wrongs, make amends for them, and sincerely try to change our behavior. In doing so, we find a joyous sense of freedom. Ah, oh, and amen in Jesus' name. No longer must we deny or regret our past. Once we've made our amends, what's done is truly over and gone over and done gone from that point on where we come from ceases to be the most important thing about us it's where we are going that counts so in na we begin to look forward true we live and stay clean just for today and that is very important but we find that we can begin to set goals dream dreams and look ahead of the joys in life and recovery has to offer looking forward keeps us centered in where we are going not remorseful or regretful about the past after all, it's hard to move forward if we are keep looking back. Amen. Just for today, the steps have freed me from regrets over my past. Today, I look forward to my new life and recovery. And I wholeheartedly agree. And in Jesus' name, ah, that's great. So I, I went to church this this morning, and um, I went with some some. I went with my mother-in-law, who I love dearly, and I went with her sister, who uh, is also somebody I love dearly. And they're just they're just great people. And, and she said something, my aunt, 
my mother-in-law's sister told me something today that I just I cannot get over and it just it describes us to a T people who are understanding of the relationship of our with with the Jesus Christ our Savior and people that get it and know it they can't hide it she's like you know what if you have that light it's so hard to keep it dim we just want to shine it and tell everybody about it so we need to do our part right in the body of Christ. If if we're not letting our light shine, then who's able to see it but just ourselves? And we don't we're not in it just for ourselves. Absolutely not. This isn't about Irish guy or second chance ministries. It's about reaching other people who, who can build that relationship and they can find the joy and the love and the compassion and then they can spread it and they can find their name in the book of life. In the book of salvation through Jesus Christ. That relationship is very important. And although sometimes we think, oh, a relationship with somebody that we can't see, I'm telling you, I can see him, I can feel him, I love him, he loves me, I, he's on my mind, he's on my heart, he's on my thoughts, he's on my tongue, he's in our actions. So simply um, following his will, God will reward us, but we need to remember to stay humble, and we, we need to remember um, that we can get real ambitious sometimes, but we, do, we just need to, be, we need to be humble, and we need to remember at the end of the day when we have our head down and we take that inventory of the day that we're not always thinking about ourselves, that we're, we're thinking about what we could have done for others, and, and, and that's so important because what we're gifted with, we cannot keep to ourselves. We have to share it. We have to share it. So what an incredible day. What an incredible day. I got a couple awesome emails. Uh, I just got some, just all those emails that I got that were uh, not so nice. These emails that I got just recently made up for that. They were inspiring, encouraging, in, uh, uplifting. I just cannot believe it. You guys have so much love for the channel and, 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 and the messages and the kind words for even me and my wife and my family. I shared I shared some of this with my family and they are just amazed too at some of the love and the compassion that you guys have for the channel. So I know I know that Jesus' message is getting out. So let's focus on that and let's continue the channel to grow and let's hope that more people are offered, offered the opportunity to have that relationship with Jesus Christ because that's what it's all about. It's not about Irish Guy JG, Jesse, or, or the Second Chance Ministries per se specifically it's about getting other people the message of jesus christ so if you're getting that in these messages please like subscribe and tell the other people around that hey there's somebody out there that's willing to do good speak truth and it's not really all about him or what we can get out of people it's not it's not what this is about mailed out another bible by the way woo -woo. and and don't you guys worry um uh uh we are we are we are staying afloat be uh we are shipping these Bibles out and we're going to continue to do so. So I just want you guys to know that the ministry is working, it's growing, things are happening, Bibles are getting sent out, we're making moves, we're making moves. So I'm telling you, it won't be long now and we will be having these Bibles get out the door faster and faster and more people have the chance to read God's Word and have that, that relationship or find that relationship and that hope that we have in Jesus Christ. So. It's amazing, but we give all credit and glory and praise to God. We do not take this stuff lightly. It is not us alone. It is not. If God wasn't in our lives showing us what to do in this ministry, we would have no clue what to do, and we don't want that, right? We want to be working through God and the Holy Spirit, and we need to be following His will. It's very important. Love you guys. Let's pray. God in heaven, I know I'm a sinner and I need your help. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is your son, that he died on the cross for my sins and God raised them from the dead. Jesus, right now I open my heart and I invite you to come in and make yourself real to me. Take control of my life. Keep me from evil and make me the person that you want me to be. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And now for those of you guys that might find this prayer uh, repetitive, monotonous, I'm asking this prayer every day. I'm asking, God in heaven, I know I'm a sinner and I know I need your help. And I believe that your son died on the cross and that you raised him from the dead. And I, I say these things earnestly and with earnest. And I was hoping that you guys would maybe follow along. So, um, uh, man, what an important prayer. We need to pray this every day. We need to pray it every day. Every day, every day, every day, every day. So that's why I want to share with you guys. So I had an awesome day and I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope all is well. Um, ay, ay, ay. We're all good. Nothing got broke. But I do want to. Um, I want. I want to pray for a buddy, uh, Ted Hinshaw. He uh, sent me a prayer request on YouTube there uh, uh, about uh, somebody that was in his life, um, and uh, we just need to pray. Pray for people. Pray. Pray. 
It's not always about us or what, what, what we can get out of prayer and stuff. Pray for other people. Let's pray for Ted Hinshaw and let's pray for the situation that he has that has arisen in his life. You know, some people some people just request prayer and that's what it is. He wants us to think about uh, praying for people that that might be lost and and you know sometimes we need to gather the sheep. We need to keep them tight right now because there's a lot of stuff happening out there and we don't want any wanderers getting lost. We want to keep keep our keep our flock tight. So and we thank Jesus as being our shepherd. We're just lonely servants and messengers. That's all we are, you guys. That's all we are. But you need to dig into God's word as well. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.